What's going on, Vault Dwellers? It's Top Ranking Noob, and I'm back at it again with another helpful video for Fallout 76. And hey, if you guys want to check out some really cool Fallout 76 gear, make sure you head on over to U4GM. I'm going to be putting a link down in the description along with a coupon code that's going to save you 5%. And today I'm going to be showing you how I've gotten my carry weight up to 600 pounds. Now this is going to be plus or minus for you guys because it's really dependent on your build and your equipment. You're easily going to hit 500 uh, carry weight on it. But for you melee builds that are all in on strength and you got that strength gear uh, with no mutations that does minus strength, you're easily going to pass up 600 pounds. So if you guys find this video helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. Also hit the bell, that way you'll be the first to be notified whenever I got new uploads. With that being said, Let's get started. Now I know 90% of you guys already know how to get the excavator power armor, but this is for those 10% of you because you're going to need this in order to make this work. So if you head south from Vault 76 all the way to the bottom of the map, almost due south, you're going to run into this Garraham Mining Headquarters. All you need to do once you get there is run into the front door. And what we're going to be looking for is a computer terminal that has the blueprints for the excavator armor. Yeah, you are going to have to craft it and you are going to have to grind some materials. We're not going to go into that much detail for this. Once you're inside the front door, though, all you have to do is head a, hang a left on the first corridor. Go down the first flight of stairs that you come across. And then at the bottom of the stairs, hang right into this big little laboratory. Uh, big little. Uh, there's a computer terminal. There's also some power armor sets that spawn here. So if you're a true newbie, you got that option. Uh, but find this computer terminal. Once you access it, all you have to do is find this option that has the excavator power armor blueprints. From there, you're good to go. Go grind that material and build yourself a set of power armor. Now that's going to get us up to about three to 400 carry weight, depending on your build. The next 100 pounds is going to come through a legit process. What we're going to be doing is out adding calibrated shocks to our excavator power armor. Uh, the next 100 pounds is going to come through our exploit that I talked about. Now the problem is getting calibrated shocks is one of the most difficult, not necessarily the most difficult, but one of the most difficult mods to get for your excavator power armor. So I'm going to be showing you where you can get this. I'm going to be showing you the, the hard way, and I'm also going to be showing you the easy way. So the hard way, but usually the cheaper way, is to go to, in this case, Harper's Ferry. There's going to be a vendor that sells mods. They're random. In this case, I found a Tesla coil. Now, unlike other power armors, it just flat out says, in this case, Tesla coil. It doesn't say X01. It doesn't say 51. Just Tesla coil. Uh, another place to go is the Watoga Shopping Center. Same exact thing. Now, you can tell exactly if it's going to be for the excavator armor simply by going over to the mod section and highlighting over it. If you look at the, uh, the breakdown, it's going to be made out of black titanium. And that's going to be an indication that this is specifically for the excavator power armor. Would have been easier if they just labeled it. And the third place is going to be the Waktoga train station. Uh, they're also going to sell these mods as well. Now, there might be other vendors out there, but these are the three that I know of that actually sell them. They're completely random, so you will have to do some server hopping until you find those calibrated shocks. That's what makes it so difficult, but it's also the cheapest method. Now, the other option is you can head on over to U4GM and see if they have any calibrated shocks for the uh, excavator power armor available. But that's not the only location you can do. You can also go over to Market76 and they actually have a Discord presence and they have a website where you can actually trade your in-game items, if you have anything worth trading, to another player that might have these calibrated shocks. Keep in mind you have two of them. Now I'm not going to show the actual deal because I don't have the seller's permission or the trader's permission in this case and that just seems like a shady thing to do. But when I do these deals I like to hang out at Volt 76 to do the deal because I don't know if they're level 50, if they're level 279 and I don't want any obstacles about some high level um, enemies that distract the buying process. So that's exactly what I did. I didn't want to spend my day server hopping, even though it would have saved me quite a bit of caps. I went ahead and did a trade for some caps and some mutations in order to get two calibrated shocks, because that's what we need. One for each leg. Once we have those two calibrated shocks, of course, we're going to go over to our power armor crafting station and slap those on. 
Now that was all the hard work. Now we should be up to about four to 500 carry weight, depending on our build. And lastly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an exploit in order to get that last 100 pounds to get us up to the five to 600 carry weight mark. Lucky for us, once we've done all of that work, we don't have to do it again. And this exploit to get us an extra 100 pounds carry weight is really straightforward. So you can see here right now, I'm up exactly 500 pounds of carry weight. In order to get up to the 600, all we have to do is log out and log right back in. So you gotta love the simplicity of this. Now the downside is once you log in uh, and you got that 600 pounds, you can't get out of your excavator armor. The second you get out of your armor, this exploit ain't gonna work. But here by logging back into the server, you can now see that my carry weight is up to 600 pounds. I don't know exactly where I'm at. I was expecting to be at volt 76, but I'm a little south. That doesn't matter. Uh, I'm at 600 pounds carry weight. So like I said, even if you get out of your armor and you get back in, you're gonna lose that extra 100 pounds from the exploit, but you're still gonna be at 500 carry weight, and that's very impressive for you guys that are out there farming certain materials. That should give you more than enough to do what you need to do. So that's it for me. That's the entire process of how I got my carry weight up to 600 pounds. I hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, let us know what you got your carry weight up to, and if you got any tricks of your own down in the comments. Again, I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you all next time.